Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. If you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, Adobe has some cloud images that you could download for free. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get them. All right, you're supposed to go through Photoshop to get the sky images, but in the description below this video, I'll have a link to the webpage so that you could download them directly. But I'm gonna show you how to do it the way they want you to do it through Photoshop. So you open an image into Photoshop, one that you probably wanna replace the sky in. Go up to edit, then down to sky replacement. And when you do that, of course, the sky replacement dialog box will appear and it will replace the sky with the last sky you used. Now to get to these new skies, what you need to do is click on this little drop down, and you can see that um, I have some third party skies. Those are the OccuDrone skies. And then below that, I have the um, skies that come with Photoshop, Blue Skies, Spectacular, and Sunsets. If for some reason you're not seeing these, you could download them um, the way I'm going to show you because they're available on that website. Or if you're still not, if you're not seeing those and you prefer, you could go to this little flyout menu and go to append default skies. And when you do that, it will add them there. But I mentioned there's other free skies beside these that you could get. To get to those, go to the little flyout menu again and go down to get more skies. When you do that, you'll be brought to this website. Uh, you, and it will have the skies. Now, we already have the sunsets, spectacular, and the blue skies. Those are part of what is already here. Blue skies, spectacular, sunsets. If you want, you could download them here as well. But there's others here. There's night skies and there's storms. So let's do storms, all right? So we're gonna download storms and then I'll show you how to install them. So you can see it's downloading the sky pack and it just downloaded them. Now. We have them downloaded. Now we need to install them into here. And I wanna show you something real quick. I'm gonna cancel out of that. Um, unfortunately, for those of you that are using Luminar and you wanna use these guys in Luminar, they're not set up for you to do that. Um, if I go to the downloads folder and I pull it out of here, uh, you can see it's storms underscore pack underscore one dot sky. It's not dot zip or anything like that. It's an Adobe Sky Pack. If I double click on it, it's asking me what application I want to use to open it. So it's not, um, it's not like a zipped folder of Sky images. But nonetheless, we could get it into Photoshop. So we're going to go to Photoshop. Again, we're going to go up to Edit and then down to Sky Replacement. And then uh, once this does its thing, let it there. Okay, now we're going to do this drop down again. Then we're going to do this little gear again. And then we're going to import skies and we're going to import from sky presets right there. All right. And then just navigate to where they are on your computer. They're on my desktop and there it is. Storm storms underscore pack underscore one dot sky. Click open. And there they are right there. And there I could then replace. Well, I don't want to do it, but these are pretty. Oh my gosh. I mean, you probably want something more realistic, <laughs> you know, but anyway, you, this is how you get these storms or these sky packs. Uh, and again, there's another one there, night skies that you could do as well. I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to right click right on this and rename the group. And I don't want those underscores in there and I don't want pack in there. I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to call it storms, right? Like that. So that is how you could get to these free skies that are in um, Photoshop. None of these look like they fit this image very well. Um, maybe that one a little, I guess. Um, but anyway, it gives you an idea. You could get these free packs of skies. I recommend that you check back uh, periodically because they said that they'll be adding more packs as time goes on, and hopefully they'll all be free. Uh, so um, check it out. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.